Buckle fat pad excision is all the rage right now, but some people are really nervous about it because they think it will age them. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sarah Saxon. I'm double board certified facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon in Austin and Dallas. So buckle fat pad excision is one of my most popular procedures, especially in the last two to three years. I mostly have younger patients come in for that, say in their 20s or 30s. And everyone right now is wanting the slimmer jawline look. And this has been popularized by some celebrities, some who have had great results, some who have had not so great results. And I wanted to dispel some of the myths because I've seen on social media and YouTube, some surgeons not being a fan of this procedure Maybe they don't do it a lot, but uh, being a facial plastic surgeon, I specialize in the face. It's something that people come to me all the time for. In the right person, this is a great procedure, especially to just create a little bit more shadow here. There are some people that just genetically have very, very chubby cheeks, almost to the point of it being disfiguring. Um, and no amount of skin tightening or Botox or anything in the lower face is gonna affect that without getting rid of the buckle fat. And there are several other compartments of fat in the cheek, so you have subcutaneous fat just underneath the skin, and you have submucosal fat just underneath the lining of your cheek. So the buckle fat just sits in between those two sandwiched together. It sometimes can extend up, even into the temples here, and it can sometimes have multiple lobes on the cheek. Most of the time, we take the entire buckle fat pad in the lower portion of the cheeks out, all as one piece. Um, occasionally, I will have to take out multiple lobes. What that does is, over time, as swelling goes down, create that contoured, less full look. When it can go wrong is if you are older or don't have a big buckle fat pad already and you can look overly hollow. And in those people, I wouldn't recommend that procedure anyway because they weren't a very good candidate. The other situation is if in an older individual who maybe has lost a lot of collagen and elastin in their skin, they very much need to combine it with skin tightening, either face tight, Morpheus, or even a facelift. Without that skin tightening component, it can create more skin laxity in the jowl area and accentuate that jowl. So those people, it's necessary to do some type of skin tightening to lift everything back up. Now, in addressing the issue with some very popular photos I've seen on Instagram, in those photos, they've had, they've had some celebrities that look very much overly gaunt. Some of them include Demi Moore, but all of those, it didn't seem like they just had buckle fat pad excision. It seemed like there were some component of fillers involved, both in the cheeks and the jawline. So in the middle here, it made even an overly accentuated look. And I think in those instances, there is some Photoshopping done too, or maybe even some contouring with makeup. But either way, I'm not sure how in just doing buckle fat pad excision that that look can be achieved because other things were changed as well. I can include some photos of numerous before and afters of buckle fat pad excision. They all look amazing. Um, that procedure can be done in the office under local anesthesia, which is why it's so popular. Kind of close to getting, getting a dental procedure. I just put in some numbing medication on either side of the cheek and remove that fat pad. Um, takes about 30 minutes or so. Um, you can get fluid collection in those pockets because anytime tissue is removed from the body, your body wants to fill that space with fluid. So it's necessary to wear a compressive wrap going up and down to close off that space. Um, oftentimes I'll combine, like I mentioned with skin tightening, I'll combine buckle fat pad excision with face tight because that can be done in the office too. Like I said, a lot of my patients are younger coming in for this and so they, they're not very ready for a facelift. That would be a little aggressive. So <laughs> combining it with uh, face tight, sometimes even masseter injection into the muscle back here uh, with Botox or Juvo or Dysport um, can also slim the lower face. Um, so combining that, I call it my Slim and Sculpt package. It's been one of the most popular things over the last three years. Uh, for any questions, you can refer to my website at saxonmd.com. Again, I'm Dr. Sarah Saxon, 
double board certified facial plastic surgeon in Austin and Dallas. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm at SaxonMD. Thank you guys. Thank you.